four things we want to see in an offense is going to be ball movement, player movement, screens, and paint touches. All right, so the ball movement, we want to see three passes or more, and then, or we want to see paint touches. We're going to check your percentages. In terms of player movement, you want to see cuts and relocations, not just any kind of movement. And then screens, we could argue about types of screens, but let's, uh, let's look at ball movement or paint touches and see our percentages. Jalen here takes a quick shot. So now there's no player movement, no ball movement. And now, more importantly, look at the rebounding position. There's no chance for an offensive board because it's a quick shot. Nobody's moving. The defense is in perfect position to, to uh, block out and get a rebound. All right. So uh, now on this possession, as Jabari comes off, he gets a wide open shot after one pass because of the defensive mishap. TJ and Jordan run into each other. But look at your footwork, Jabari. You should be turning as you catch the ball. You catch it. Then you turn, then you're ready to shoot. Um, fortunately, they ran into each other, so you're still able to get it off. But you got to learn to square up much quicker with that footwork. All right, so uh, I don't mind that being one pass and a shot. Defensive mishaps, you got to make them pay for that. All right, so here's two passes and a shot. Again, pump fake, smart move, wide open shot, but one for three. Okay, this is no passes and an attack, and you're behind the play in transition. All right, so we got to learn when to attack. There's nothing wrong with taking quick shots sometimes, but know when the spaces are there. So TJ does get a paint touch here. Galen should attack to the middle, not towards the person he's passing it to. But nonetheless, there was a paint touch, and uh, they don't block out. And uh, I think because people are a little out of position, TJ is able to squeeze through there and get a rebound. All right, so it's one pass. We got to drive in a paint touch. So now look what that creates. A lot of help. Galen's wide open. Nobody within six feet of him. Wide open shot. We still haven't had three passes yet. Um, so, so far it's just been a paint touch that, that's gotten us our decent shots. All right, so this is a tough contest. Just one pass and a shot. And again, no second shots after that. Okay. That's two passes and a pull up. All right, still gotta move the ball a little more. We gotta make defenses work harder. Right now, you're not forcing the play much. That's one pass. All right, and a quick shot. Here, you'll see the only edit in the tape. I stopped you guys because of the brand of basketball we're playing. I asked for more paint touches and ball movements. Let's see how well we adapt. Because most players don't know that they're taking bad shots until the percentages are right there in front of them. All right, so here, um, we do get, what, three passes, a drive. Uh, I called the foul out there, but I gave the other team the ball, so two for three. All right, we get another position where we get three passes with the ball. But since we're playing three seconds with the ball per catch, Drew dribbles too long. Still a contested shot. You can throw four, five, six passes instead of having to take that shot. But uh, nonetheless, uh, it was a turnover, not a shot attempt. So I'm going to stay uh, <clears throat> two for three. Okay, dribble handoff. That's one. We got two passes. Or no, we got three passes because the dribble handoff is a pass. Now, I know the rules um, are three seconds per catch with the ball, but sometimes that makes us have even less patience than we already have. And we take quick shots like that. And nobody's in rebounding position. It's also player movement or the lack of player movement that's making us take these type of shots. Okay, there's three passes right there. All right, so now we get a paint touch shot right there, a higher percentage. All right. So this one has three passes. All right. But because of the player movement, the box outs don't happen as much. And your offensive players are moving. They usually see the shot attempt before the defense does. So that's an offensive rebound. Get another wide open shot. So that possession still counts as a make. All right. So the player movement is going to get you more offensive rebounds and better looks at the basket. Jabari gets a deep paint touch here it's for their third pass. So he gets three passes and a paint touch this possession. But look at the quality of shot that they're getting. He's in the gym by himself. <clears throat> All right, so um, you can you can live off that. Uh, this is five for seven. All right, turnovers don't count as a, an attempt, so we'll leave the, the shots the same. <clears throat> All right, so Jane comes down. We get uh, one pass. All right, two passes, and we get a paint touch right here. Now know what pass to make when. On your third pass right here, you got to throw it softer, probably just a drop push pass. But since you throw a laser and it's not on target, it turns into a turnover. Let's count the three misses. Um, though we went five for eight with paint touches or three passes or more. Uh, Jordan goes to the hole. He gets hit on the elbow by Cam. I don't call it. 
Drew misses a wide open three. It happens, misses as part of the game. And then Jalen drives, has been wide open for a layup, throws it off target. All right, could have went eight for eight. Now we went one for eight with no paint touches and two passes or less. The one shot that was made was when Jabari came off, two defenders had a mishap, ran into each other, and he was open for a shot. Let's say you're going to be the type of player that says, hey, I don't want to pass to nobody. I don't want to get paint touches. I just want to take tough pull-up shots. Understand, first of all, most players aren't built like that. Most good players aren't built like that. So you got to learn to play the ball, play basketball the right way. My college coach says, hey, man, if you're going to take these type of shots, you got to be able to make 300 of those particular types of shots every day on your own time, not mine. And most players aren't willing to put in the time to do that, but they want to take those shots. Man, look, just make your game recruitable, learn to play the game the right way, and then you'll have a lot more fun playing basketball because you'll be on the court, not off it. Now this game, uh, make it you got to make at least three passes. <clears throat> we quickly change it to paint touch, but for now it's three passes. All right, so that's one, two. Uh, Jabari, y'all got to communicate quicker, you and Cam. You know that's what Jalen wants to do. He's going to catch and shoot that thing quick. All right, so that's one pass. <clears throat> And, you know, I'm still playing. We're still playing the three-second game, but y'all are just more patient. So y'all are getting easier shots. Again, I told you, defenses play deep. Kids play defense for seven seconds. All right, so now we're at the point where you got to get a paint touch. All right, so I count those really close ones from the side as paint touches. Wide open shot. All right, you can't forget about the guy that gets paint touches. All right, so we're passing up shots for great ones. Those are shots we would have taken earlier, and now we get a wide open shot from Ben. All right. And these are clips of some of the better possessions, but I just want y'all to see what that can create. All right. So there's a lot of ball movement. Up, oh, a gap opens up. So now Drew gets his own paint touch and a wide open layup. All right. Here we go with more ball movement. Nice. That's a wide open catch for Cam. You even have the option to drive by him, Cam. And then because of the player movement, uh, the offensive rebounds, are, you're going to get more of those because it's tougher to block out after moving and playing defense than it is stationary defenders. All right, miscalculation there. Jabari thought Drew was going to cut. He was just uh, screening away. All right. Okay, there's a paint touch, which makes a guy have to close out. Galen gets everything he wants, just got to finish his, finish his layup. Really good drive here by Cam, gets his paint touch. Jabari passes up a good shot for a great one, and now y'all get a wide open layup. All right, so this last part may be tough to hear for some people, but if you go to practice, you don't practice hard enough every time. Or when you go to your training, you don't go consistently enough, then you don't build the game speed habits that you need for your game to be where you think, uh, think it is. If when you practice, you practice on what you want and not what you need, that's another reason. And if you, when you train, you only sign up for AU teams and you don't know how to balance a game and training, that's another reason. So don't hate on players that have put way more time in than you. Most players come to me and they complain about, oh, this guy's allowed to take this shot. You haven't put in a fraction of his hours. Make sure you do your work, your time, and make sure as you learn from these videos, you apply because information does not matter until it's applied. All right, let's get it.